Hello, hello everybody. And it's been a bit since I talked about this tank. This is my hybrid project I've been working on for over well over a year now. Come yeah, close to a year and a half maybe. But anyway. The ones I am calling Gupplers. Get it, Guppy and their hybrid Guppler. Anyway, it's something I've been working on. Not just all, this ain't just a willy nilly mix. This is a carefully selected hybrid deal I have going on here. With a particular Guppy and a particular Inler. <laughs> can't tell everything. I'm sure I've told it before, but i to keep some secrets. Anyway, you can see all the crazy colors and patterns and they definitely exhibit what is called hybrid vigor. which is sometimes hybrids since they have are genetically diverse are healthier more active stronger and this is the case with these guys for sure so we can get some shots over on this side of it this tank is gone. See if I can get this crap out of the way. There's a bunch of frying here at this time. I'm excited. It's gone a while without a whole lot of fry going on. And as you can see, there's quite a few fry going. Look at this. Anubius. This Nebius has gone crazy. Lots of good spots for the fry in this tank with all the moss, the Nebius roots. I mean, it's just. I like this tank a lot. Now, something on one of these morphs I've seen. Is I didn't see Harley see him Harley at all for the first year, and here lately, that morph. Where it go? Anyway, I'm sure there's more of them in here. Now I've had the ones like this with the red stripe, a little bit of blue, a red and a little blue stripe with the tail. There's another one right there. Now, I've heard the story of let the cat out of the bag that the Endler, there's the Rainbow Tiger Endler, that I've created these hybrids with is a Rainbow Tiger Endler male. And the story goes that LR Bratz created those with a starburst I believe they're called Endler and they are they have a bright blue stripe and a red stripe and I believe it took a few several generations for that to start exhibiting itself but after a while the genetics are coming through And I believe that is how that body type and the ones with no other fancy markings other than the blue and red on the body. There is one. My heart. Look at this. All these guys are just freaking amazing.
I was trying to line these out couple different variants but I decided I like them mixed better so I'm still trying to decide what to do the other ones the one kind that my wife liked let's see I'll come over here real quick these guys I cannot get these to throw that same thing ever I have a buddy who does a Starburst Endlers, and they're quite, quite nice. I think that tank up there I'm going to use for that, maybe. Look at that guy. Wow. Definitely interesting. <coughs> One day I want to have a 125 gallon tank of these guys. There's so many possibilities. So these guys are getting old too. I mean, a year and a half. Kept it 78 to 80 degrees. Well, I don't see anyone really. Some of the females look a bit old and worn out. But the males, they just keep on trucking. I'm also throwing a bunch of stray shrimp in here and coals and lots of. I put a lot of black rose coals in here and I put. What is there once in a while when I'm changing water? One of these shrimps, especially in these tanks here. We'll get jump on the uh, python without me knowing and end up in their own tank. So when I catch, when I see that, I catch them, I just throw them in this tank. And somehow an orange one got in there. That's a nice looking orange shrimp part there. There's some fire red shrimp. All kinds of different ones. Anyway, it's not about the shrimp. It's about the hybrid. Gupplers. So. I've never heard that term before, so I want to see how I come up with it. I hope no one steals it from me, but. <laughs> Anyway, maybe some dead people are interested. I might sell these. But I don't know. This is kind of in my own personal enjoyment tank. If someone's interested in some, I might let some go, but I'm not looking to right now. Try to hold the camera still and enjoy. <laughs> 